Hi everybody, welcome back to Critical Mass. Well, we just ended WandaVision two weeks ago and now we have the next series for Marvel. Right off the bat, it starts off with a lot of action. Yeah, uh, I would even say too fast paced action. There's a lot of cuts and action and this is happening and this is happening, but they sped up the film in the fights. Everything is happening at breakneck speed. 1.5 speed. Yeah. It's a military contract. Hey, everybody, remember what Falcon is all about. These are his powers. Uh, and then they use that to contrast with his actual home life. We find out Falcon, uh, he has a sister. And it's she's going through financial troubles, and he's he wants to save the family boat and the family restaurant, and he's coming into the rescue, and she's against it. She wants to sell it. We should, we should mention that this takes place after Endgame, when everybody had disappeared for like five years. By a couple months. Right. It's a couple so. months after Endgame. And remember, he was one of the people who disappeared for five years. So he comes back. That's, that's his plot line right now for the rest of the story. Was him and his family and the, the boat business. Yeah, so they're, they have fin financial hard times right yep. now. And just because he's a high-flying action hero doesn't mean that, you know, all his bills are paid. He's just a regular guy trying to make things work. Right. Yep. And having a pair of mechanical wings and lasers and stuff doesn't help you pay the bills. Yeah, right. Okay, so that's his story. Then we go on to the Winter Soldier. We have a, a dream sequence that gives us... It turns out to be a flashback. Yeah, he's basically dealing with, like, PTSD. Yeah. And it's a nightmare of when he takes out these Russian uh, people and he ends up killing, it looks like, a very innocent guy because he watched him. Remember, he was a bad guy, brainwashed for a long time. And so he's dealing with that. And you see him befriend some people, and but it all harkens back to this backstory. Mm -hmm. um, what did you think of his story so far? I feel like they're trying, uh, I know they have to do this, but I feel like they're trying to create drama and feelings, but I have none for the story. Like, I understand that they're trying to create uh, emotions and stuff, but uh, it's not working for me. Hmm. Yeah, like, I don't care about anything so far. Yeah. Uh, I, think, I think the idea of the Falcon having financial problems is Kind of interesting, uh, but the rest of it, uh, they're going to have to make me care because so far I don't. I'm just saying, okay, what's this first episode all about? Right. Oh, that's what it's all about. There's so many storylines going on. We, we're, we all, we've skipped over the the whole, okay, well, he was given the shield at the end of Endgame, and what is he doing with the shield? And we, we haven't But that comes into that. play at the cliffhanger at the end of the series, at the end of the show. Yeah. We have to remember, too, that Falcon is the most... Uh, I don't know, insignificant character on the Avengers. You got the Winter Soldier who seemed like he was going to be interesting uh, after that one Captain America movie, but then they just forgot all about him and so we don't know anything and don't care about him. So they're putting these two together in a show. They have to try to make us care. Because we... So, so far, far, don't. So far, no. I don't. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if I believe the... Falcon having financial troubles because he has government contracts. And if you have government contracts that are set for you to go and take out enemy helicopters and everything, I think you're being paid pretty well. I don't think it's a $40,000 a year job. So, you know, the, you know, I don't believe that part. The whole PTSD thing, uh, uh, all right, all right, I can see what's happening there. But well, it, it hasn't drawn me into the story yet. The movie contradicts, well, the, the movie, the show contradicts itself when when the falcon is talking to the to the banker and he's saying well no superhero work doesn't work like that it's all it's goodwill we go out and we do what we have to do and we don't get paid for that and then the next sentence he's talking about government contracts that he has that is going to pay him income so i don't know i, I don't think they thought that one through i also think if you're an avenger working for the government i think you have an access to loans <laughs> somewhere in washington pretty sure but it all wraps up Nothing really, really happens with any storyline until the end when all of a sudden she comes in and she says, you have to see this. And we see 
a big speech being done in Washington where they're announcing America has a new superhero. It has a new Captain America. And the new Captain America comes out and he's holding the shield and he's... And the full uniform and everything and that's where it ends. Yeah. So what do we think? Like... I'm I'm on the I'm on the fence right now. It hasn't given me a mystery that I'm interested in. It, I have characters, I know them. They're not my favorite Marvel characters by any means of the Avengers. Am I gonna go back every? I'll, I'll go back and watch it next week to see if it picks up. But, but that's the thing. That's why we're going back to watch it because we have a review channel and yep. we want to see if this leads somewhere. Not because this hooked us. No, like I, I might go back to see what's going on with the new Captain America as a fan but if that doesn't hook me in next week i wouldn't i may as a personal person i may never have watched this series again a personal person not a, not a reviewer just somebody watching the series a personal person a personal person it, while, while i wasn't enthralled with how wandavision turned out wandavision hooked you with that neat gimmick yeah. of being the tv series and the mystery and the mystery and there the was mystery, mystery. There's, very small at the there's, end there's, but there's no there mystery in this one right now no Right. I actually found this was uh, decent, but boring. In the first 10 minutes of this show, I can predict the whole show. All of the episodes. I know where it's going. Well, Mark, why don't you tell us your prediction for the show, and we can, this, we can turn in every we week can to turn, see how close you are. We can turn it off after this. There you go. It's, this, the entire show is about the Falcons... Transition to Captain America. That's it. That's that they that, want us to care. That's your huge prediction on what that's the show it. is. That's the whole show. <laughs> that's it. That's like saying, you know what? The Marvel MCU universe is all about them beating Thanos. <laughs> I predict that. <laughs> uh, we really appreciate no, no. your insight no. every week, Mark. <laughs> 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 no, and you know, you know that I'm right. He doesn't. Oh, uh, this well, belongs yeah, to somebody the else. Show. <laughs> well, as you can tell, this didn't draw us in. Mm -mm. This didn't bring us to say, "I have to watch this show. I can't wait." So yeah, um, they have some work to do to draw us in. So far, the only thing I'm curious about is the new Captain America they've introduced. I just want to see what he's yeah. all about. I don't. I don't even care. <laughs> yeah, like it's, it's true. I get it. At yeah. the beginning, they try to do this big thing where, oh, Captain America was one in a million, and the shield belongs to him, not to me. Let's immortalize it in the museum. And then a week later, <laughs> yeah, have a new, ca new Captain the America the episode. Yeah. And we don't know it. Is he just a publicity guy? Is he just an actor? I'm Captain America, or does he actually have some kind of skills as a super soldier? So let's find out in episode two. In the meantime, this didn't say. You have to watch it, everybody. This isn't one of those shows that draw me in right from the beginning. Uh, in fact, it was a very slow burn after that opening action sequence. I really am curious about what our viewers think of the show. Yeah, yeah. I'm wondering if, if this is a long, drawn-out, dramatic series the whole time, if people are going to are gonna draw to that or not. Yeah. But let, let us know if we're off base. Yeah, especially when it's these two characters. Oh, they'll let us know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Paul reviews everything. Where's that? Where's that <laughs> dislike button? Where is it? Oh, there it is. You know what? If you dis, if you think we're completely out, you know, just tell us twice. Just click that dislike button twice. That way, we know for sure that you really think we're wrong on this story. Well, that's it for now. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Is this a must-watch for you, or are you going, well, I hope it gets a little better, or are you saying, that's it, I'm not going to watch it anymore? And those are your three choices. No other choices. <laughs> and until next time, check out some more of our other channel reviews down below. We'll see you on the channel.